Hello everybody, my name's Dan and I'm brand new to Magic the Gathering. I've been playing since November and yesterday I went to my first ever pre-release up in Glasgow at Geek Retreat. Thanks very much Geek Retreat for having us. Uh, me and my three friends went. Uh, Josh, who has been there, he used to live in Glasgow, uh, used to go there and we got to meet all his uh, friends there. And we got to play some uh, Fate Reforged. And so I've got my pre-release pack here. You can see in this video me unboxing it at the shop uh, and showing you where we were and having a play. Uh, and then afterwards I'm going to show you what I got in uh, the booster packs that I got at the end. So f what you get at pre-release, it's it was £25. You paid a £5 deposit to book your place and then you paid £20 when you got there. You got 50 card sleeves. Uh, you got one of these. You also got a cup of coffee as well, which was great, especially because it started at 9.30 and we had to get up at the crack of dawn to get up there. Uh, and in here you get five booster packs. One's Counter Attack here for uh, uh, Fate Reforged, and then you get a seeded booster pack for your clan. And you get a, some of the stuff like a spin down counter, some badges, things like that. Uh, so yeah. On with the show, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you what I got up to in Glasgow. I took a couple of videos. This is this is where we are. Yeah. Say hello to everyone, Josh. Oh, you're doing a video. I thought you were taking a photo. Yeah, we're 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 in Geek Retreat in Glasgow at the moment. Yep. So we're just uh, waiting for the uh, the uh, pre-release to start. Yeah. I've, I've had my breakfast, so I'm all good to go. And your waffles. This is gonna look really weird if we cut these yeah. two things. No, yeah, two, two, two right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back, back, back with some coffee. And, yeah. and, and, oh my! You got another intro, Dan. <laughs> what? Oh no! You bought another one. That one. I know. So this is the group of people I play magic with. Say hello to the internet, everyone. Hello. 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 This is this is Chris. Say hello, Chris. This is Adam. This is Adam. And this is Josh. Hiya. He's kind of responsible for all this. Yes. And I've forgotten this one's name. Barry. Barry. <laughs> Barry. We've just been introduced to Barry. He's played, he, he, he's played with Josh many, many times. And you won last night, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. And you played five rounds, five rounds <laughs> with what clan? Um, along with Madu. Yeah. Madu. And what, and what clan are you picking again? Madu. Madu. And what clan are you playing with uh, for the other events? Madu and Madu. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Mardu hoarding chief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I right, this is my first pre-release and it says Chris's first pre-release pre-release. So we're here and we're gonna we're gonna well, we're just waiting for our boxes and then we're gonna drop, put together a deck. But Adam has bought a fate reforged intro pack and he's gonna <laughs> show us what's inside. What have you gone for, Adam? Black. Everyone. White black. White black. There you go. Fully unplayable. Actually. Look at that, Gary. You can't play black without Gary. First fight we forged booster. Let's have a look. What have you got? It's when you just review, like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what, whether this is good or not. <laughs> oh my god. Dowsing gloom. Enhanced awareness. Strike. Ice kick. May not guide. I like that. Abzan. Oh, yeah, I, I clocked that one as being fair. Hey, hey, the great horn. Horny. Horny, horny, horny bugger. I like the, the new Hunt the yeah, Week, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a kill spell. Yeah. Awesome spell. Oh, he's, he's making his way. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. Damn you. <laughs> and oh, what's the rare? Um, Arc bombs. There you go. What? Yeah, oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah. yeah. Alright, here we go. We can open our boxes. This is my pre release pack. Oh, I will not talk through them time. No, not at all. Hi. I got she who smiles. Hey. So we've Excellent. got the Amazon houses. 
Card. Some step. Straight, straight into the command. Let's have a look. All oh, right. The Mastodon. I got the Mastodon. And you get a spin down counter. And your badge. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so we've got a lovely Sunstep Mustard on named Foil. Zan Banner. Sunstep Citadel. Death Frenzy. Seek the Horizon. Armament Core. Return to Earth. Harsh Sustenance. Hooded Assassin. Abzan Guide. Harsh's Parapet. Disowned Ancestor. Feet of Resistance. Scoured Barons. Salt Rock Patrol. And Kuma Bonkin. Right. Hit the Khan's pack. Let's see what we get. So, our rare is Ankle Shanker. We've got an Anot Tracker, Naturalized, Just Guy Student, Molting Snake Skin, Glacial Stalker, Valley Dasher, Scout the Borders, Dismal Backwater, Sultai Banner, Disowned Ancestor, Kin Tree Invocation, which is good for us. I'm winning this event. Oh, you are absolutely. Oh, what have we got? <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, brilliant! Um, Chris just got a dirtle, dirtle turtle in his. Fantastic. Uh, so, uh, this is our fate first Fate of the Forge pack. Uh, so, we've got an Avon Skirmisher. Brilliant. Lowest Path to Jin. Hooded Assassin. Yes, great. Ethereal Ambush. Not in our colours. Abs and Advantage. Great. Uh, right into being Goblin Heel Cutter. Map the Wastes. Great. Clash for Dumps. Formless Nurturing. Ride of Undoing. Cloud Form. <laughs> In the waste, Mastery of the Unseen, Budfell Caves, and Spirit Tokens. Uh, right. Hello. I am most of people at Right, oh, next pack. What was your. Assassin, great. Uh, the one. Avon uh, Skirmisher, smiles. great. Mm -hmm. The one that smiles. Oh, smiles at Heath. Yeah. Without a goblin map, that's not good. Assassin's great. Take us to the Mardu Scale. Krushok. Lightning Shrieker, great. Hero's Blade. Light Form. Merciless Executioner. Frontier Siege. Uh, foil Blossoming Sands, which will come in handy. Dismal Backwater. And Spirit. Um, okay. Next. <laughs> uh, take on the oh, got a jungle hollow. Great, that'll work. Uh, Dowson Gloom. Dwarf Lair. Harrison Cleric. Whiskaway. Siltai Keeper. Formless Nurturing. Tusker's Cruelty. Return to Earth. Strawberry. Barb Roller. Hero's Blade. Shine. Orange. And we've got Typhoid Rats, Ethereal Ambush, Dragon Ball Monk, Enhanced Awareness, Gurmag Angler, Reef Focus, Defied Augur, Whisper of the Wilds, Great, Class Roll Damage, Friendly Fire, Super Seed Monk Trackers, Sages Revere, Class Siege, and a Noxious Dragon, a Foil Noxious Dragon. Great. Uh, and a land, uh, uh, yeah, and a Manifest card. So I will be playing that definitely. Uh, so that's what I got out of my Absan box from my pre-release, and uh, I did all right with it. Sorry, I rushed that. By the way, I was uh, going at a million miles an hour because I only had so much time to build a deck, so I had to get it done fairly quickly. Anyway, I pulled some decent cards. Uh, I was a big fan of the dragon at first, but then realised that it wasn't all that great and found that my Sandstep Mastodon was actually really, really good. Um, it has a bolster ability which worked really well and really put the scares on a number of my opponents, uh, so it did me well. But uh, in the end, I only won one round. Uh, so at these pre release events, you play three games against someone best of three wins the round and the winner of that round gets a booster pack at the end of the day so the more you win the more boost booster packs you end up with um but at the end of the day i got three booster packs because geek retreat uh give you two 
uh, Fate Reforged booster packs at the end of the day, no matter what. So it was part of that £25 uh, price point, which is great. So I ended up with three booster packs at the end of the day to the open. But I also got another booster pack. Now, um, there's a new card out called uh, Ugin Spirit Dragon, and it's all based around Ugin, this whole Fate Reforged thing. Uh, and you have these achievements that you have to do. Now, in your card box, you get this card here. I don't know if you can read it from here, but uh, this card has achievements that you're meant to try and acquire. And when you do those achievements, so there are things like manifest a card, cast an artifact spell, use bolster to put one or more uh, one one counters on a creature. So I did a lot of these, and a lot of people did, and we did it very easily. It's very easily done. But at the end of the day, you get um, an Ugin's Fate booster pack. Um, and so I'll show you now what I got uh, in those booster packs. I've already opened them, but I'm going to show you uh, what I got. I'm going to show you this one first. I'm going to go through these. Let's have a look. Enhanced Awareness. Saltai Emissary, which I used. Refocus. Abzan Sky Captain. Could have done with that. Sultai Rune Mark. Mardu Scout. Soul Summons. Collateral Damage. Ambush Crotic. Smoldering Ifrit. Sudden Reclamation. Mardu Woe Reaper. Uh, Orc Sure Shot. And Supplant Form is the rare. And then we got Rugged Highlands and a Manifest card. So that was that one. Um, I say I could have used the uh, Flying Creature in that. Uh, you can't use these cards in your uh, deck. You get these at the very end of the, the night. So uh, Geek Retreat handed out two Fate Reforge and this at the end of your sorry day. I was there for the day. Um, so yeah, here we go. We've got Sultai Runemark, Sultai Schoolkeeper, Gurmag Angler. Ancestral Vengeance, Pressure Point, Grim Contest, Abzan Advantage, I had one of those, Smouldering Ifr Ifrit, Defiant Ogre, Return to Earth, great card, Lotus Eye Mystics, Shifting Loyalties, Break Through the Line, and the rare is Citadel Siege, which would have also been great in my deck. Uh, a Citadel Siege enters the battlefield, choose Khans or Dragons. Khans, at the beginning of combat, on your turn, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature you control, or Dragons, at the beginning of, it, of combat, on each opponent's turn, tap target creature that player controls. Not a bad card, and just a useless thing. Uh, so, yeah, then we've got our 2015 booster. And we've got Generator Servant, Goblin Rough Rider, Glacial Crasher, Clear a Path, Pillar of Light, Carnivorous Moss Beast, Crippling Blight, Hunt the Weak, Bronze Sable, Might Makes Right, Hot Soup, Necrogen Scudder, and the Chain Veil is our legendary artifact, or a rare, well it's a legendary rare, uh, and then we've got planes and a Sliver Token. So that's what I got out of those booster packs, and then we got the Ugin's Booster, and this is what I got. So you get an island on the front. Sultai Emissary with alternative art. Very nice. And a Watcher of the Roost uh, with alternative art, which is also quite nice. And a Manifest token. So yeah, didn't pull Nugin. Someone did, who was at uh, Geek Retreat. Uh, and so yeah, he got a lot of attention because he pulled an Ugin. Um, but yeah, no joy on that. But... I got some good cards, I got, you know, uh, some good ones from the pack that I got from the box. Uh, so yeah, really happy with that. So thank you for watching this epically long video about uh, pre-release. I hope you enjoy your pre-release if you're going to one. If you're just getting to Magic and you haven't gone to one, I recommend you do. Really good way to learn about the game and to play against other people. Uh, so yeah, you should go to a pre the next pre-release, uh, which will be for Dragons of Tarkir, I think. So yeah, let me know if you like this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. I've been Dan, you've been watching New to Magic. See you next time.